what is up guys back with another one and today since the marbles came out we're gonna go see the early access we're here on thursday and we're here at fucking amc it's already live it's it's an action we're about to go right now and go see this so i'll let you know how we feel about it when we get out and how you feeling about going in there i'm excited to see this movie because we're all caught up yeah, we caught up on Disney Plus, so like we're we're ready, we're ready. We saw Kamala, we saw Carol Danvers, we saw I don't know the other one's name, but we saw WandaVision where where she oh, was yeah. made too. And we're ready. Let's get into this the Marvels. Alrighty guys, I'm fresh out the theater now. We have just finished watching the Marvels. And surprisingly, it was really good. And I wasn't really like too like surprised on it being like good because I was kind of expecting it to be like a little bit better now that they're kind of like getting the use to the format and like all like the ideas they want to go down with these next couple movies so going into this i wasn't like too much like all right i'm not really too hyped i was hyped trust me i was like waiting to see this movie uh we watched all the stuff waiting to see if it was gonna like all add up it, it really did and they didn't disappoint i was really like sitting there the whole time kind of like with a smile on my face and just like wondering like what's gonna happen next some of the stuff was like predictable like yeah you could be like okay like there's gonna be like a, a power moment and like some of them are gonna like seem like they're struggling but get their like coolest like little things they got going on like going and honestly it wasn't a letdown like i think people should really go check this movie out because i felt like it really puts you in the shoes of just like every perspective in this movie so like captain marvel i feel like takes the head of just like like the mother figure kind of just like taking care of everybody and then like rambo like the um the other girl just like kind of takes the the barely getting used to her abilities and kind of figuring out like just the smart guy attitude she's like uh getting used to the team and stuff and uh the third girl kamala is just like the fan kind of just the one who's like seeing everything for the first time you know like going to space for the first time like seeing these enemies uh, the enemies kind of like being a little bit uh overpowering than just like the earth like kind of things she got going on so like it's a new battle for everybody and it's really kind of cool because you get to see like everyone kind of get their own little shift of character in the movie and i thought it was really nice like to see something like that go down because like a lot of the time they just kind of expect you to like be attached to these people like they'll be like all right we this is a part of the marvel so you have to like it like I don't know, like, they kind of, like, try to throw it in your face sometimes, like, new characters, but these characters are really likable, relatable, and, um, they got a lot of, like, touch them, just, like, their own little, like, characteristics, which makes them unique, you know? So, with that being said, the actual movie, I don't want to spoil, but you guys need to go see it, because it was just, like, from the beginning to end, just all new adventure, and for people waiting for the the marvel universe to kind of just expand a little bit more and people like see new characters there definitely was new characters the ending credits was in like had me going like crazy because i saw like some people and i was like oh shoot this is definitely gonna connect pretty soon and they're definitely gonna start getting into like um a bigger universe bigger teams more real uh people you'll probably like recognize like people you'll you'll see and definitely be like okay we've been waiting to see this guy on screen for years and like i don't know I, i'm i'm ready for it. i'm ready for it and how did you feel about it my girl uh, uh, <laughs> i liked it it was like really entertaining and like funny and like it wasn't boring at all either like, it was like it kept my attention the whole time yeah so i liked that a lot she was uh she was um kind of enjoying like the the shows we were watching leading up to it too like the kamala con yeah and um and the first like captain marvel movie was pretty all right but we were just kind of like waiting to see how this one was going to turn out and i don't think we were disappointed at all right no it was like really good yeah how'd you feel about the ending the ending i'm i'm like excited for the ending i don't know I feel like, because she's like, well, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially for the next movies to come. They're going to be crazy, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's like, I was like in awe the whole time, honestly. The characters are just so unique. There's uh, one thing I will spoil is you do get to see an escape pod full of kittens, cats. So if you think the cuteness is not going to be there, there's cuteness. There's everything you think you need. 
I, I really don't even feel like I want to get into more because I'll get to spoiling, but we saw this uh, the day before release. So tomorrow it comes out. I already saw, a literally we were in there with like five people. So like, <laughs> I mean, I got to enjoy the movie. There was no one talking. There was nothing else going on, but it also is 3D. So I like to get 3D tickets. Here's the hack. Get 3D tickets if you don't want to get bother bothered at all because, hey, nobody could afford them. Because <laughs> there's not going to be big families in there. No one wants to buy $30 a piece theater, uh, 3D tickets. So I went and saw it in 3D. It was pretty cool. It had like a lot of cool, colorful scenes. The atmospheres were sick. Like there was some points where I was like, damn, I wish I could capture life like this on my camera. Like, God damn, like some of the action shots were insane in there. But with that being said, that is the Marvels. No spoiler review. Feel free to just leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more movie reviews. I'm going to head off to work. We actually got work in like 15 minutes. And yeah, got to go hit that, that job, right, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready in the car and then <laughs> heading over there. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, thanks for letting me hit 100 views on that gameplay. I saw that the Spider-Man is going up. Spider-Man 2, I beat that. Um, I'll probably do more game reviews. Yeah, because it seems like that one kind of went up a little bit. But I'll probably only do up-to-date recent games because I don't want to be over here doing, like, Left 4 Dead 2, What Can Walk Through, or, like, some bull crap. <laughs> like, I want to actually play some games that are, like, coming out now and get our now fucking reactions to them. Let's get to those raw, actual reviews. No one's paying me to say any of this, and I'm not capping. <laughs> I may be a little bit favoritism sometimes if I really like something, but overall, the Marvels, 9 out of 10. I would say 10 out of 10, but I, I really am kind of like a strict man with <laughs> a strict man when it comes to reviewing stuff 10 out of 10. I don't know. I can't, I can't give stuff 10 out of 10 because it wasn't like perfect, but at 9 out of 10 is good. It's good. You guys should go check it out. The Marvels. See you guys next time. Peace.